When I was a kid, I played Warhammer 40,000, but it wasn't the only war game I wanted to play. There were so many out there, but you know, as a kid with limited time and money, more importantly, um, you know, I never really got around to it. But that didn't stop me from becoming very interested in the other games out there, one of which was called War Machine. See, I've had an infatuation with steampunk since I was um, about 12. My favourite band uh, as a teen was called Fearless Vampire Killers and they had a steampunk aesthetic going on. So finding a war game which was to me uh, Warhammer but everything steampunk and also half of your army is dreadnoughts was awesome. But pitching this to my friends didn't, <laughs> didn't yield any results, unfortunately. Uh, so there was this one guy called Tom, who was friends with my friends, and we kind of got along, kind of didn't. You know how it's like when you're a teenager. Some people you just don't gel with. But we decided, let's team up, let's go half on a uh, starter set for War Machine to try and draw the rest of our friends in because he wanted uh, them to play War Machine and so did I. Uh, so we went halves and I had the Menoth side of the box. And this was um, when we were about 15 and that's 10 years ago now, pretty much more or less. And this is all that's really left of it. Uh, at the time, I didn't paint them because even though we both had armies now, our friends were still so into 40k uh, they didn't give War Machine a second look really. So they were unpainted for a long time and in some dire condition. Uh, this uh, Crusader, I glued his head on upside down. Um, the Cinerator's Pals, one was given away to a friend uh, who only paints Warhammer 40k and this was actually in the last couple of years. And yeah, I don't think he's been painted either. Um, the rest are missing, one's got a missing shoulder. But, you know, I painted them recently because of Mark IV, and I really want to get into the game. So, I'm going to try and track down the other Cinerators. I think, I know where one is, without a shoulder pad. The other one, I'm sure my friend would let me have back if I asked, because I, I know he hasn't painted it. So, then I'd have a full unit. So, I'm using this uh, Krios as Grand Exemplar Krios. I don't think anyone would mind that. But here is some cricks that I have as well, because I think they're really cool. You know, it's kind of like mixing steampunk with the undead, which is awesome. It's super gothic and really cool. So the, the character I have here is Gorshade the Bastard. And this is the um, original Gorshade model. He's had like three re-sculpts, I think. Um, but again, if the base sizes line up, uh, and the bases are important in War Machine. I'm sure no one will mind me using Gore Shade 1. Um, this Slayer missing its uh, shoulder spikes. I got these about two years ago when the game was still pretty much dead. Mark 3 had come and I think gone at that point. No one was really talking about it online. There weren't as many battle reports as there used to be. And for me, it'd been about eight years since I'd last looked at War Machine, but seeing how cheap uh, like the battle groups had got, gotten, so I got this, a Legion of Everblight and a Signar battle group, and you know, I didn't spend a lot of money. Um, this Gorshe didn't have a backpack uh, for a long time, but I went through all my drawers and I found it, so I can't wait to glue his backpack on. So I wondered, what should I get next for these armies? Uh, I want to play Mark IV Prime, and I can't really afford to get a Mark IV army straight away. Uh, so I could expand these. I, yeah, yeah. So I can complete this unit of Cinerators, I'm pretty sure. Uh, got a Crusader. What should I get next? So I was thinking about a Crier, and then maybe a Templar. I, I legitimately have no idea. All I've done uh, to prepare is read a couple of the old No Quarters magazines, download the app and have a look at the different units in there, and have a look at, um, you know, eBay and Firestorm games and Rayland games, all of those places, to find some uh, new 
models to add to the collection, the Crix one is tough because I really like Bane Knights, but they cost £65 for 10 and I know unit sizes are small, that's the reason I can get away with uh, the Cinerators because I'll find just two out. Um, you know, it gets quite expensive just to add 10 more units. There's other games I also want to play. Uh, so to add just 10 Bane Knights costing 65 uh, yeah, that's a tough one, right? So I was wondering, what do you guys think I should get uh, to add on to these armies? Part of the reason I really got interested in War Machine back then was because this game called War Machine Tactics launched and it looked so awesome to me. Apparently though, it's uh, broken and if you download it on Steam, it doesn't work. Um, which is awful because you can get the code for about a pound and I imagine it's so cheap because it doesn't work. Um, so that's just such a shame because I would love to play through it because as a kid I would watch the trailer a lot and look at screenshots and love it because it was steampunk and it was tactics. It was so cool. One thing that I forgot to just mention was that there's a character in War Machine that shares the same name as me and it's uh, Coleman Striker. So we, sh we have the same name, so I had to get him. He's not finished being painted yet. I kind of screwed him up a little bit with the paint job. I didn't really know what I was doing. Uh, and then here's, you know, um, what <laughs> what's this guy called? Uh, I know he has a mace, that's quite obvious. Uh, ironclad, I think he's called an Ironclad. So the fact that there was a really important character with the same name as me, made me think I have to get into this game as well. Now I do know a little bit about the fate of Coleman Striker and there's a reason he's not in Mark IV but you know same name I had to get him and I know that they're naming a war jack after him in Mark IV. I think it's the the Signar Heavy Jack uh, it's like an upgrade kit because of the way they are doing magnets now which is super cool it's like it reminds me of switching out the parts of your Beyblade between rounds um, they're giving a upgrade kit with a new head and a sword that's apparently the sword of Coleman Striker and they've made it uh, work for Warjack so they've made it bigger. I don't know how that works but it sounds pretty cool to me so when that upgrade kit launches I'm going to definitely try and get one of those uh, uh, Warjacks just because anything with my name you know it's pretty cool. So yeah I plan to get into War Machine Mark IV uh, with these uh, legacy armies, Prime Legacy, uh, mostly the Menoth and the Cricks. The reason why I'm not uh, adding on to the Signar at the moment, even though I do like Signar a lot, they're very classic steampunk, is because basically nothing from the battle group I got is usable other than the Ironclad, the Firefly is not usable, the Journeyman Warcast is not usable. Um, the Lancer is, but I screwed that guy up with the paint job. I could strip, but you know. Um, these are the factions I want to focus on. Uh, in the future, I might get a new Mark IV army. The new um, Legion kind of spin-off sounds super interesting. I, off the top of my head, I can't remember a lot about it. Uh, other than it's Blood Creatures, which sounds so cool. I need to get into the lore of War Machine. Do you guys know any um, good parts of No Quarter or novels I should get into? Should I skip everything and just read the Mark IV? Um, law that's in the app or should I work my way up to it um, yeah so that's that video guys now you know a little bit about my history with War Machine or lack thereof just you know another one of those times where I was looking at something and I wanted it and you know I kind of had a bit of it but uh, now I get to really dive deep into it hopefully so anyway I hope you enjoyed if you did leave a comment and please like i try to reply to every comment and every like helps me a lot especially at this point you know the channel's still fresh uh there's not many long form videos on here so i'm hoping this does well and everyone wants to see my armies grow uh <laughs> as i do